Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're tasting the Martin Kodak's Albarino from Rias Baixas in Spain. So this wine is obviously a white wine and it is from the Rias Baixas region within Galicia, which is located in northwestern Spain. This region has a very cool and maritime climate. It is influenced by the Atlantic Ocean and it is sometimes called Green Spain for its lush natural beauty. So this wine, you'll notice on the label, has DO signified on the label. That is actually a wine classification, a Spanish wine classification, that falls in with the, under the PDO classifications with the European Union. And basically what it means is it's the second highest classification within Spain. DO stands for Denomination de Origin. It is regulated by local authorities called Consejo Reguladores. And basically what they do is make sure that the local wineries are following the wine region's laws for production. This applies to grape varietal, winemaking methods, and aging. So the producer for this wine, Martin Kodaks, is actually a co-op. And a co-op means that the producer gets their grapes from several different vineyards, in this case up to 1,400 small vineyards, and then blends them together to form a wine. So this is bulk produced and it is imported uh, to the U.S. It's about $15 a bottle, so it's very affordable. Um, and let's go ahead and get right into assessing the wine. So this, as we can see, is a white wine. I would call that straw. And what's interesting to me about this wine is there's tiny little bubbles, and that's pretty um, typical for Albarinos from Spain. And when I look into this wine, it's very clear, it's very brilliant, the light is reflecting off of it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and smell it. So when I smell it, I don't get all the floral that I was expecting for an Albarino. Um, however, it does smell very crisp. I get hints of lemon and lime. Um, I also get aromas of white flowers. So next I'm going to taste it. So on the palate, it's very crisp and very clean. I do get ripe fruit and it's like a ripe lemon or lime, so very citrusy. Um, I'm also getting a little bit of grapefruit in there. And as I'm going down my mental checklist, I'm definitely getting some minerality and wet stone. There is a bit of slate. Um, when I think about the structure, it's high in acid, and it does have about moderate alcohol, and it's a very dry wine, so there is no sweetness in this wine. It's a dry, crisp, and clean, very refreshing. This would be a great food wine. So this wine would pair great with several different things. Um, it's almost like, the wine almost has like a salty characteristic to it too. Um, so what I would pair this with, the first thing that I think of with a high acid and how refreshing it is, is that I would pair it with fat or I would also pair it with something salty because the acid can stand up to the salt. So I might go with a light meat. I would go with seafood, fresh fish, oysters, it would go very well with a cream sauce, like a pasta with a cream sauce. Um, you could even do like an asparagus risotto to pull out some of those green flavors. There was a little bit of herbaceousness in it, uh, almost like a little bit of green pepper. So it would pair quite nicely with all of those things and it's just a really refreshing wine. I think that I would probably drink this in the summer. It seems like a nice, refreshing, affordable uh, summer wine that would be very crisp and clean and easy to drink.